This evening we're having a quick run through with um, the Raspberry Pi. Um, we're going to be trying to get it to work as an FTP server. Um, what else do we need to do? FTP server, some sort of torrent seed box, uh, and I'll need to be able to remote into it to see what's happening. So those are the three three requirements that I need. Actually, there's a fourth one. Uh, we need it to function as uh, it needs to boot from a USB drive, which the Raspberry Pi doesn't do out of the box. So we're starting off with a little little program called Berry Boot, which allows the Raspberry Pi to boot from an SD card to Berry Boot. It's effectively a uh, A very pretty looking uh, bootloader, as you can see with all the squiggles in the background. So we'll be doing that first, and once that downloads, uh, we should be able to boot. We're just going with uh, Wheezy on this one. Keep it nice and simple, plus it's got good support. So while that's downloading, I'm going to make a plan on what comes next. And once it's downloaded, it'll appear right there. Now I've only got a mouse connected because I couldn't find a keyboard, so here's hoping we don't need one. Ah, so you can choose the memory split, that's handy. There's the boot menu. First boot is always the slowest. Here we are. no mouse. So I'm going to go find a keyboard. We'll be back. And now we're at the desktop. So on the previous screen I just went through and uh, picked out the options I wanted set using my Dell keyboard. And now we are booted. So now it's just a matter of uh, getting FTP going. FTP, some sort of VNC thing, and uh, what was the other thing I needed? I've got them written down somewhere, I'll just go have a look at the list. Next part for me was to set my IP address to static, uh, give it a nice easy address on the network to remember. So make yours look like that. So there'll be more coming up on this obviously because I am not nearly finished, but as you can see it's quite a neat little unit. Uh, interestingly the RAM, GPU and CPU are all uh, pretty much the one chip just stacked together. 
Uh, so we'll have more on this in the coming weeks. So uh, stay tuned and we'll hopefully get FTP working. Thanks for watching.